Hey, it's me again. I'm back. I wanted to show you one other activity that um, some of my students enjoy doing. And this is what you will need. You will need um, a some sort of a container, um, a bowl of some sort, a tray that's a little deep and I'll show you. And then maybe some rice and some beans. You will also need some letters. <clears throat> and you can find those in your classroom or um, if you have some at home laying around, depending who's watching this video, mom, dad, or teacher, you'll need some numbers and letters. And this is something I currently um, work with some of my students that have a hard time, you know, describing letters versus numbers. And this is a fun activity, fun way to learn the difference and categorize each one as well. And also use, you know, touch, their senses, exploration, and whatnot. And it's just, just fun. So you'll need rice. You'll need um, a tray. I like to use these, these sort of trays that I um, bake cakes in. And then, um, like I said, whatever you have, if you have rice or if you have beans, any of that works. So what you will want to do is um, grab also other items around your room, around your home, and just um, fill this um, tray sheet with um, rice or beans, and then try to hide all your um, items in here. I guess I could go a little higher in here if I needed. I could have uh, poured a lot more rice in here. So try to hide them so it could be like a scavenger hunt, like a fun activity, right? And so the whole goal is for my student to categorize letters versus numbers. And I will have, because I'm also working on right and left, so I will have my student work, um, okay, uh, Billy, we're gonna put all the letters on the right hand side. Show me what hand you write with. And so my student will show me the hand he writes with. Okay, and I, there you go on that hand side. And then on the left hand side, we're gonna put all our numbers, okay? So let's see if we can find some letters and numbers. And so it's have them, if you need to use hand over hand to explore and slowly feel things, that's okay. If my student is afraid and like pulls back, that's okay. We can do hand under hand and he could hop on or she could hop on over my hand and I can start using my hands to explore along with my student. So you could do that as well. If my student is a go-getter and they just go right on, that's perfect. I want them to explore, to feel. You might put like some slimy things in here. I got these from the dollar store. They're um, like worms. I might stick some of those worms in there and hide them in there. Kids think that's silly. So anyway, what you want them to do is explore and feel and touch and grab and pull out. Ooh, look that. Billy, what is that? Oh, what color is that? Oh, that's a strange color. It's like orange maybe? Hmm. Is that a letter or a number? And so we would describe that it's a number and how we know that. And if... um they know what number it is. Oh, it's the number three. Okay, remember, all numbers go on the left-hand side. So we would put all numbers on the left-hand side. There we go. Oh, let's see if we can find more numbers or letters. And they would come in here and they might pick the worm up and feel it. Oh, what does it feel like? Oh, it's bumpy. It has some lines. Have you seen worms before? When do they come out? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. When it rains, sometimes we see worms on the floor, on the ground. So then they'd feel, feel. Oh, I found one. Is that a letter or a number? And we would describe it. Oh, it's a letter. What color is this letter? Do you remember what letter that is? Yes, it's the letter P. Mm, what sound does the P make? P, P, P. And so if you have you know, a rhyming song you work with, you might discuss that or, you know, P as in, and then we would give them the name. So anyway, letters go on the right-hand side. Yes. Woo, we got one letter and one number. Let's see if we can find some more. <laughs> oh, oh, I found one. I found a, a letter that's red. 
But what letter is that? Hmm. Yep, it makes the mmm sound. You're right. But what letter is it? Mm, M. That's correct. M as in mom. And it goes on the right hand side. I have two letters. Whoop, whoop. And then we might feel the little necklace. Ooh, what color is that? But is that a letter? Is it a number? Nope, nope. It's just a silly necklace floating in my tray. That doesn't count. And we would pick the next one. And then we would describe it, the color, and we would put it where it belongs. Right hand side, left hand side numbers. Anyway, it's a fun activity that's very simple. A fun activity that's very simple, very easy to put together, especially if you're in your classroom or um, in your home. You can just pick out a bunch of things and stick them in there and specifically put a lot more of what you want the student to look for. Um, like this example, I use letters and numbers, and so we would play that that way. So anyway, have fun. Enjoy. I hope you liked it. We'll see you later. Bye.